Runway recently announced Act 2, which is a big step forward from Act 1, which I've covered previously in this channel. It now not only allows you to do a motion capture of your face and lip sync and transfer that to your character, but you can now do full body control. So it means you can move your hands, your body, your lips, uh, do all of that, and all of that motion can be transferred to any of your AI-generated images. If this works as promised, it could be a game changer in the way that we animate our AI-generated characters. So in this video, I'm going to be putting it to the test and seeing if it works as promised and i'm also going to show you how you can access the tool let's get straight to the video so to access the tool you want to go to runwayml.com now it's not a free tool but they do give you a free trial that you can try a very minimal uh, video maybe about six seconds or so so once you're on runway you want to get to act two so you click that right here and right here at the bottom you can select both an image and a video i'm going to show you a video in a second but let's try the image so i'm going to click on select and upload an image right here and you can see it has detected the character. So now there's some settings. If you click right here on the settings icon that you can change. So you can change the facial expressiveness from one to five. So the less it is, the less the character tries to um, mimic your facial expressions. And the more you have, the more they mimic exactly what your facial expression is. And then you have this new option now also to do the gestures. So whenever you enable this, this is when the character would also take whatever motions you have uh, in your body and transfer it uh, to the character itself. So once you have that all set and dialed in, you now want to just simply either upload a video which is already recorded that has the uh, motion capture performance or you can record one from scratch. I have my webcam uh, set up here and then I'm just going to go ahead and hit start recording. As you can see, I'm recording and it's capturing both my hand movement, body movement, and even facial expressions. So as I blink my eyes and do all of that, it captures that. Whoa, this is amazing. Whoa, pitch. So as you can see in that example, it's quite impressive in how well it actually captures uh, your hand movement and body movement into the characters itself. But now I want to put it to the test and actually give it some hard tests to see just how well it performs on that different scenarios. So we're going to start with a very hard one for most AI videos to do, which is the hands. So it does pretty decent with the hands like you see, but I want to see how well it can actually get the nitty gritties of the fingers. So here's an example. How many fingers do I have? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? I think it's five. So I did try about 10 or so inputs and the best one was the one that I showed you. So it does still struggle uh, with the fingers. In fact, in one of the examples, some random creature just showed up in the hands in place of the fingers. As you can see here, I don't know what that was all about, but um, yeah, AI video generation models still struggle uh, with fingers. Now I must confess that was probably a very difficult challenge that I gave it there, which it did not too badly. I would probably give it a 60, 70%. I mean, for the most of it, it was able to get back that hand motion apart from when I think I said three and then it morphed a little bit there and it couldn't figure out what a finger was. That was a great challenge to give it. Now let's move ahead still in the area of trying to look at how well it does uh, the hand movement. I want to see how well it can mimic a musical instrument playing. I want to see how well we can actually use this to do like animated music videos for things like that. So I'm going to play a guitar and see how well it follows my hands. And then I'm also going to see how well we can do the singing. Now I've gone to Suno AI and I've generated some AI generated music and let's put all of that together and I'm going to do the motion capture for that. I'm alive, but not many know I'm AI. I'm AI, I'm alive, but not many know I'm AI. So I must say I was quite impressed with that. I didn't expect it to do that well, especially if you see the way I was uh, moving my left hand on the guitar and it was actually mimicking that motion. At the time where I was doing the little solo there towards the end and it was actually sort of following along with the hand movement. Uh, that was not bad. That is actually very decent and quite usable. So the only uh, sort of criticism I have for it is that if I zoom in right here, you're going to see that the hand is really, really muffed off. So to fix that, I used a separate tool by Topaz Lab 
Astra. I've never covered that in this channel. So it's a creative AI upscaler. So it does the upscaling creatively. So I put it up to Astra and Astra was able to fix uh, some of those uh, imperfections there in the generations from Runway to make it look better. And at the end, I think what I got was quite a decent um, output that I could use in a project. So quite impressed with the way it did this. I want to play with this a little bit more and see um, how well I could do like music videos and things like that on this, but not bad at all. All right, now that we've tested how well it handles hands, um, it does a decent job, not perfect. I want to see how much of a full body can it actually capture. They do advertise that it actually does just from the upper torso up, so like your upper body. But I still wanted to put it to the test to see if I did give it my full motion action, what would it actually do? So I'm doing here another test. As you can see, I am testing here with my full body. I've recorded my full hand. And to my surprise, it actually got the full motion. So as you can see, it's getting all the leg movement pretty well. And I tried this with a different non-human character and it's actually got that pretty well also uh, with the entire body movement. So for this one, I give it a pass mark. It was quite impressive. So the next text we're gonna do is to see just how well can it actually capture the facial expressions compared to Act 1. Act 1 was doing a pretty good job already, but I wanna see if Act 2 is a little bit more expressive in how it captures uh, the details of the face. So I'm gonna do a detailed facial test and I'm gonna do this with the expressiveness of 3 just to put it in the default settings to see how well it captures that. So as you can see, uh, it's doing a really, really, really amazing job. And I'm as I moved my head there, I was trying to text for the physics. So I was expecting it to move the hair, but it didn't really do that. But other than that, you can see the eyebrows as I move my eyeballs, blink. All of that has been captured. Look at even the way I move my mouth. Uh, that has been captured pretty well. That's quite, quite impressive. Uh, for me, this is... Uh, a lot of control that we can give uh, when animating. I know it does real humans well and also sort of like 3D stylized characters pretty well. I want to take it further to see what other styles of uh, sort of cartoon animations can we actually animate with this uh, with it still giving the same good performance. So, so the first one was um, an anime style uh, and let's see what that looks like. Listen, even if the whole world stands against me, I'm still gonna make that step forward. So it didn't seem to struggle with that. It captured both the lip sync and the body movement pretty well. Let's move on to the next one. So I'm gonna try a 2D, flat 2D style cartoon. And for this, I got this error message that it could not uh, detect a face in the image and asked me to check if there's a face, even though there is a face. So I tried another cartoon that was a little bit more human looking like, and I got the exact same message. So I've not been able to get it to be successful in 2D. Uh, cartoon images none of them has worked with all the characters that i uploaded to it and the same error i also got with a couple of 3d ones like these two right here both of them got me that same error message and then i went further to try because they do say it can do non-human uh objects so next i'm actually going ahead to go try some non-human objects so i started with this raccoon here i got the same message i could not pick it uh, to actually animate it and again i tried with a little dragon right here same thing um it could not pick it to animate it I did try uh, with a robot and this one was quite interesting because uh, it put the mouth of the robot uh, somewhere on the stomach and then I figured probably okay it confused the little uh, bar right here for a mouth so I did regenerate the robot now with an actual visible face and mouth but then I got again the same error message where they said it cannot detect a face uh, on the robot so there is a little bit of irreliability there uh, when it comes to non-human uh, objects. After fiddling around with a couple of different options, I finally got this one image to work. And here's what it looks like when you do a lip sync with animals. Hi. You can see me? Not many humans make it this far. I'm Bobby, but you can call me Bob. So that is pretty decent uh, when it works. It actually looks pretty good. I'm pleased with that animation, other than the fact that um, for the most of it, you would not get that uh, to work. All right, so the next test I wanted to do was to see, even though this was advertised as doing only one subject at a time, I wanted to actually see how well it handled multiple subjects if you did put it in the scene. So I did one here where we had a robot and a human because I know it would pick the human and let's see if that worked. Hey buddy, do you think it worked? What do you think? So just like I suspected, it did pick just a human and actually put them 
to speak. Uh, the robot there had a weird hair on it. Other than that, this is pretty usable. So now I wanted to make it a little bit more challenging. I generated two characters and put it in the scene and had it try to animate those. And uh, what I found was that it picked the very first character and gave them uh, the speech. So as you can see here. I'm going to count to three and then we dash out. Ready? <sighs> So the very first character to the right was the one that actually got the speech transfer. Uh, but again, this is advertised to only work with one subject. So I just wanted to put that to a test. And those are my results from that. All right. So for our final example, I did say you can also use videos in this, not just images. The good thing for this is that you can do your video animation in any other tool uh, or even runway to get more expressions and more happening in the scene. And then you can bring it back here just to do the animations of your actual actor's performance. So here's an example where I wanted a scene where we had like a secret agent driving a car and changing the gears and all of that. And then I just wanted him to speak and do some motion. So I captured that and here's what that sounds like. Control, this is Shadow One. I've got eyes on the target, heading northbound. I need the next intersection cleared. Do you copy? And then finally, I thought this one was funny. Uh, our little example I did for full body of the guy doing, uh, you know, sort of like uh, his kung fu practice. I thought I would make him sing as he did that. So I then re-uploaded that video and then used my motion capture for the guitar playing. And here's what that sounds like. Not many know I'm AI. Overall, I want to say I'm quite impressed with the output we're getting from Act 2. Is this the best animation model we have out there today and lip sync? Uh, maybe not. You probably still get a better animations from Google VO3. But where Act 2 really shines is in control. The fact that we can now control exactly how the character speaks, when they should do a certain motion. Uh, that's just something that we have no other tool or model that can do that and also give us the lip sync at the same time as we're doing it the way that Act 2 is doing this. So this is definitely a game changer in the way we animate characters. In fact, I feel like the AI video world and animating tools have gotten to a very mature point that you can tell very compelling uh, stories with the tools that we have out there today. And because of that, I'm working on two videos. One is going to show you if you want to do 3D stylized animations today, where should you start? There's so many tools. Which tools should you use? What's the best workflow? So I'm working on a very long video on that. And I'm also working on one for 2D animations. So those should be coming out pretty soon. If you want to see those, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell uh, so that you're notified whenever those come out. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Thank you for stopping by. Keep learning. I'm alive, but not many know. Did you know this? No, I didn't. Did you? No. What's going on? Wait, wait. If he's AI, that means we're AI. Oh my goodness, that's true. <gasps> <laughs> I always knew there was something weird about those guys. <laughs> Who did this? Where's the producer? Oh no, they figured it out. Cut the feed. Cut it now. But sir, doesn't that mean you're AI too? Wait, what?